businesses now after two years pandemic in Ecuador and what are you doing to promote them? Yeah, well, as you know, the, tour, the pandemic hit really hard the tourism industry, not only in Ecuador, but worldwide. Uh, at the moment, we are about 80% of recovery in tourist arrivals to the country, but we're working really hard with the private sector, uh, giving all of the support that they need so we can um, um, speed, speed up the recovery process. So we participate in all the big and relevant uh, travel so shows such as WTM, which is very important for us to be here, and be with such an important delegation of Ecuador to promote and create uh, and how is it going? It's going very well. It's going After two years either for London, coming back, how do you find the... It's awesome. It's so good to be back. For, for us, the British and the Europe uh, market is very, very important. So we're very excited to be here back in WTM. Now with a super nice uh, stand and with the 20 businesses from Ecuador representing the beautiful highlands, the Amazon, the lowlands. I've never been to Ecuador, Ecuador but oh, no, never. So, uh, yeah, what, what are your best attractions? Ah, uh, best attractions. All right, that's going to be a super hard question, you know, because Ecuador is such a beautiful country, very small, but it's divided into four different regions. We have the highlands, the lowlands, the Amazon rainforest, and of course, the Galapagos Islands. So it's kind of like Latin America in a nutshell. So if you've never been to South America, I think Ecuador Ecuador is the perfect country to start off with. Oh, thank you very much for the explanation and I hope that uh, we're going to go well these days and uh, thank you very much. Awesome. Well, bienvenida a Ecuador and uh, we wait for you in Ecuador. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.